Now, whether it's the President Donald Trump, it's Arnie or Homer Simpson, there's no one our next guest can't mimic. So let's give a warm welcome to Australia's best impersonator, Ben Price. Yeah, Ben. Welcome back, man. Thank you, guys. How are you? We're, We're good. We're very well, thank good. you. So, hey, look, Donald Trump has invited Scott Morrison to the White House in September. How do you think that conversation's going to go? Oh, wow. It's going to be great. We really want to welcome ScoMo to the White House. I think it's fantastic. I want to welcome you here. Oh, it's going to be great. It's fantastic to be here uh, building families, reducing tax, uh, getting Australians <laughs> back on their feet. And uh, you know what? Uh, I'm a Liberal leader, and it's just great to be here, and I believe in miracles. Well, I believe in miracles too, because if you're a Liberal, I'm surprised they even let you in the building. I'm not sure what's going on here. But we're going to have collusion with Australia. I think you're tremendous people. <laughs> okay, well, politicians are one thing. Uh, let's talk about celebrities, because they're all trying their hand at this new face app challenge. Oh, yeah. Except for Morgan Freeman. Yeah, right. Well, you know what? A lot of people all around the world, they want to look like they're 80 years old. I did that 20 years ago when I looked in the mirror. But I did try it out this morning. I, I gave the app a shot and I, I looked at myself to see what I'd look like in 20 years time from now. I was confused. I looked white, but it was just a, a tombstone. So I, I got a little oh, confused. Oh, 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 I hope brutal. it's not true. I hope it's not true. Brutal. Uh, now, there are two celebs uh, uh, talking about getting into the ring. This is Tom Cruise, but who does he have it in oh, for? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm, uh, I'm going to be fighting Justin Bieber. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm so excited because I've been training for Top Gun 2, and now I feel the need. The need for Biebs. Woo! It's just, I'm, I'm doing what everyone in the world wants to do. Half the world wants to do is, is beat this little guy. I, I'm joking, you know. <laughs> Most of the world. Actually, it, it's going to be fantastic, you know, because uh, I think he got a little confused because he, he didn't realize this was UFC. I think he got confused with KFC. Woo! <laughs> He's going down. The cruise is coming for you, Biebs. The cruise is coming. <laughs> it's coming for you. I'm the guy. So, Jamie Oliver, he's had a bit of a bad run lately. What's going on with him? Yes. Oh, you yeah. have. You know, it's been really tough. You know, Jules and I have been, um, you know, trying to get the restaurant back up and running. And they're all closed down. You know, we did try and, you know, fix it up. We got some advice from another celebrity chef, unfortunately, with uh, George Canambaris. Yeah. <laughs> didn't go down so well. Yeah, I can't believe it. I was really bazzled by that year. Uh, but, you know, I've got to say, guys, the restaurant was 15 originally with homeless kids, 15 homeless kids. Now we've got 1,000 unemployed, so we're going to open up one more restaurant, call it 1,000. Hopefully they'll work for free for me. <laughs> oh. Too soon? No, nah, not at all. Maybe. Not at all. Never too soon. <laughs> now, you have been using your unique skills in the real world, too. Let's have a look. <laughs> Hello. Today, I'd like to order a Big Mac, please. Uh, however, if it's okay, I'd like to make a couple of modifications to the burger. Yeah, not a problem. I don't like the sesame seeds. I'm not personal against them. I just like a smooth bun. Yeah, so I can so, a cheeseburger bun? A cheeseburger bun would be great. <laughs> <laughs> what a great walking. It's so much fun. I love. I love the fact he just didn't realize. Yeah. Oh, Christopher Walken's back ordering a burger yeah, again. Back. He just went with it. I do it every week. I go back as different characters. Uh, but you know, I feel sorry for him. But he, he's not working at Jamie's restaurant, so I think it's good. He's, his <laughs> job's safe. <laughs> now you use this uh, amazing talent and voice of yours uh, to not one but three characters in a new yes. movie. This is a film called The Pilgrim's Progress. What is this? Yeah, it's, uh, it's based on the, the classic old book by John Bunyan. Uh, it's like an allegory. It's kind of like Narnia. It's this adventure. It's a family uh, book, but they've made it into a movie, and it's fantastic. So uh, I, I'm really excited. I get to play three characters, and uh, w one of them is like uh, Judge Hategood. So it's not really based on my personality, to be honest. But he, he looks like Mr. Bean, mm -hmm. and uh, he sort of sounds a bit like this, very high-pitched sort of... I based him sort of on a Monty Python type of character, uh, I don't know, he's got one of those types of voices. And then you've got, I've got another one I play called Cruelty. And he's, uh, he's a very nasty sort of character. He's a bit like Jason Statham and it's really good. But it's a classic movie, it's a fantastic, uh, it's actually the original movie had Liam Neeson in it. So uh, I almost wanted to slip into a bit of Liam Neeson who has a very particular set of skills to be voicing characters in a movie. 
um, one of my favorite voices. But it, it comes out next weekend, and it's it's absolutely awesome. I can't wait to check it out. I've already seen it, but I want to see <laughs> well, it. No, okay. Well, no, you can pay to go again. Just keep I the tickets well. up. Uh, great to see you as always, buddy. And the Pilgrim's Thanks, Progress, mate. as he says, is in cinemas from July 27.